how uh, this week we start with SDG again and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Yes, how many of you all had a wonderful weekend? Hello, Abdullah. So if you had a wonderful weekend, Abana, awesome. M&M Brothers. Sakhen, how about you? You still did not recover from the life skill session. You were laughing. Yes, or you were still in that phase and zone. Anyway, Homera, hello and welcome. Okay, so we'll start with the session. And uh, I have, yeah, like, like always, I have something for you. And uh, you have to guess the word. All right, so what I've done is I've made a modern day hieroglyphic. All right, and then you guys have to guess what word it is. Can you see? How many of you all can see? It's clear. Everyone brothers are scrunching their nose. No, we can't see. All right, so there's an apple, lion, fish, ice cream, yarn, and apple again. Can you guess the word? I'll show you. Alfia. Oh, Farhana. Very good. That's my name and it's Alfia. All right. Um, we'll go with the second word. What's the third image? Munib. Net. It's a net. Okay. It's Munib. <laughs> okay, Farana said it again. It's Munib. You see, I have I, I drew uh, images that we relate to with the alphabets. All right. So that's that's the clue. Okay. I have two more. Don't worry. Don't worry. And Farana, you will not answer. All right. Safia. Oh, that's amazing, Amina. That's Safia. Last. Saklen. Okay, Mudabir. That's excellent. It was Saklen. Now, what I want you all to do is do you have a pen and a paper, pencil and a paper, anything around with you? Can I go get one? Yeah, sure, please go and grab one. Okay. Similarly, just by using these uh, icons, write the word ecosystem. Go ahead, write the word ecosystem. So I have I've clearly used um, elephant for E in Munib. And show me, let me see who does it first. Ecosystem, think, think of icon, maybe it cannot be elephant for you, it can be egg for you. Just an oval shape. Abdullah is taking selfie over there. No, no, not, not Abdullah Sakib, Abdullah Patel. Okay, Amina, um, just like how I use these uh, images or pictures or doodles, drawing, for writing one word, like writing your names, all right? Similarly, you have to use these uh, pictures and write the word ecosystem. Hello and welcome. Mr. Munib. This is how we write your name, henceforth Munib. M U N E E B, Munib. All right, I'll give you two minutes more. Come on, come on, come on. E 
for egg, C for crown. Mozambique is like, I'll, I'll just let Mozam write and then we'll show it in the same screen. <laughs> yes? Okay, just write eco. System is too long for you. And it's taking too much time. Eco, how many of you have written ECO? Show me. I'm enough. Come on. Let us see you. Okay, Satya. Okay, so she drew an egg, candle, and Hello. okay, he, oval. Okay, oval, eco. And he has what is that? There is watermelon. I can see fruit, salad, and vegetable. Succulent. Apple, carrot, and watermelon. Apple, carrot, and watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah, I know watermelon. So, A C W. What is that? O O. O. Okay, eco. It starts from E. All right. Okay. So, ecosystem. Uh, does ecosystem contain of terrestrial ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem? Yes. Yes. What is terrestrial ecosystem? Who will tell me? Yes, Mudabir. Terrestrial ecosystem is where all size of animals from small to big, they all live together. On what? On water. Land. That's, that's terrestrial? No, land. On land. Okay, so yes, terrestrial ecosystem basically means all living beings in the ecosystem on land. All right. What does freshwater ecosystem mean? Anybody? Somebody? Nobody? Freshwater ecosystem. Sakran. What do what do you understand by freshwater ecosystem? Come on, we did it last time. is writing. All right. Okay. Give me examples of terrestrial ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem. Let's let's make it easy for you. Good morning. Forest. Forest. Yes. Thank you, Farana. Forest. Ma'am, fresh water, lake. Lakes, excellent. River. Okay, River. Parana, next time only you join the Zoom meeting, all right? <laughs> we'll have only one student class. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now, here is the big question for you. My voice is breaking. Okay, Sucklin says freshwater ecosystem is... Uh, freshwater ecosystem is freshwater. It's Okay. In contrast to the ocean, as water contains relatively small amount of dissolved compounds. Oh, some studies of freshwater ecosystem focus on water bodies themselves. Where did you copy it from? Ma'am, Google. Ah, yes. The definition it, itself says it all. Okay. Now, here is the big question for you Is freshwater and terrestrial ecosystem interconnected if yep. you agree yes give me a thumbs up boys don't go in hiding i want all the boys to show me their faces come on yes i want to see you so that i know we are not doing any hanky panky behind the screen okay so I've received a lot of thumbs up. All right. How is my question? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, divide you all into breakout rooms. All right. So you will be assigned a group and you have to discuss how terrestrial ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem are interconnected. Is it clear? Any doubts? 
how do you think these two ecosystems are interconnected all right how they are related how they are codependent on each other that's that that is the question so um i have already made a breakout room one we have farhana humaira and i'll quickly add the mnm brothers and we have muni all right so there you go and breakout room two has amina safia abdulan all right all right you guys in okay so this is your breakout group one and i'll repeat the question what do you have to do you all tell me the question what is it? we have to tell that is the fresh water terrestrial system and ecosystem connected Uh, that sounded funny, and that is true. Okay, so that is what you have to uh, discuss about. Mute yourselves. Have discussion amongst yourselves. Share your ideas. Okay. So if M and M brothers think why they are interconnected, you are going to share it with the other four, uh, other three. All right. If Munir has an opinion, he is going to share it with you all. All right. You agree on certain points. You disagree on certain points. If you agree, why disagree? Why? All right. You all know how a discussion happens, right? So this is like you all. Have Room, then you've been divided into two teams. All right, so you are team one, and you have to discuss how they are interconnected. I will move on to my other. Y'all are still quiet. Why? People have started discussing in the other room. Unmute yourselves, everybody. Unmute. Yes. Money. Unmute yourself. Omera. Unmute yourself. Okay. Mazam Mudabir. What are you doing? इंटरकनेक्टेड <laughs> Yes. House. Just randomly, yes. Bold. पता नहीं कैसे connected है, but yes, bold. Humaira, but so do you think uh, terrestrial ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem are interconnected? Humaira, see, she smiles when I tell her name, but she she doesn't respond when the question is asked. Okay, let me give you a hint now. Huh? This is too much. Where are the rivers flowing? Where is the lake and the ponds found? In terrestrial ecosystems. Yes. 
Now think and tell me how are they related and interconnected? Come on, Farhana, there needs to be points. Freshwater ecosystems are found in terrestrial ecosystems. That's right. That's correct. So, how do you think animals or are living in freshwater ecosystem are related to animals or trees or plants on the terrestrial ecosystem? Now that they are both are found in one place on land. The animals that live on land, they would drink water from the fresh water. Correct. And what do polar bears eat? Fishes. No, 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 no. They should eat leaves. Then, and where do we find fishes? Do we find fishes in the rivers? Yes. Yes. So, freshwater river is a freshwater ecosystem. Polar bears or other grizzly bears, like you may call them, uh, live on terrestrial ecosystem, are a part of terrestrial. They are interconnected. Yes. Yes. Mudabir understood now. What about others? Because of the amphibian. Oh, we've, now we've started using big words like amphibian. Yes, Muneeb, that's correct. Okay, this is your point, huh? Keep it, keep it now. Remember the points that we just discussed. You need to, you need to tell the other group about that. We don't know how many points they're going to flood you with. Okay, they had a very heated discussion. Anyway, so we have three minutes and maybe in a minute or two, I will close all the breakout rooms. Yeah, so make sure within this time, if you have one more new point coming up, you can totally have a discussion. Alfiam, you need to, uh, if you went, everyone can unmute yourself, all of you. Munib, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, okay, good. Continue, I'm leaving. Trail water.
Hello and welcome back. I hope you all had a very good time in your breakout rooms and good discussions there. All right. Um, so Farhana's Farhana's here to come. Okay. Anyway. Uh, all right. So group one. Group one. Yes. The people in group one. How do you think system and freshwater ecosystem interconnected? Terrestrial and freshwater ecosystems are interconnected because freshwater ecosystems are found in terrestrial ecosystems. Okay. We have Munim this year again because of the amphibians. Yes, Munim, that's right. And to add on to his point, anybody wants to add on to his point? Amudabir, you can continue yourself. The, the animals that live on land depend on fresh water, they drink water, and they depend on food as well, for, like bears eat fishes that live in fresh water. That's correct, that's right. Okay, how about group two? How about group two? Anybody from group two? Yes, Amina. Uh, since uh, oceans and seas and uh, like other like lakes and all the water uh, like places, they are like uh, connected to the land. So that's how like ecosystems can get connected in one way. And okay. also, and also that ecosystems uh, like that they are dependent on ter uh, terrestrial ecosystems. Uh, okay, somebody, yes, okay, elaborate your point. I want somebody from your group to elaborate on your point. Because uh, the group one was very specific when they came up with this, uh, uh, when they came up with the reason of how they are interconnected. Like they stated with an example. They said freshwater ecosystems are found on land, all right? And uh, they, they, gave, they stated an example of how bears are dependent on fishes and uh, like a uh, majority of the animals are dependent on fresh water for drinking purposes. How about you, group two? Somebody, Emma? You all, you all had discussion, right? You would want to add to her point or maybe elaborate it further with a simpler example? Abdullah, Ahmad, who else were there? Safia, Shaklen, what about you? Yes, yes, Ahmad, speak. Um, that the ecosystem on land needs water to live. Correct. So. Correct. The fresh water ecosystem provides the water. Simple and very logical. The ecosystem on land needs water. So the source of that is the freshwater ecosystem, right? Thus they are interconnected in a way. Now, now we come to the main topic. All right. And it's interesting. Um, uh, name one of the biggest rivers. River Nile. River Nile. Nine, okay. Amazon. Amazon, Safia. All right, that's the answer I was looking for. Yes, Mudabir, what did you say? Mississippi. Mississippi. Ah, Mississippi. Okay, Euphrates is in Mississippi. Okay, Euphrates, yes. Okay, so I wanted uh, I wanted Amazon. So because Amazon River has uh, also has the largest rainforest around it, right? Yes, Amazon yeah. rainforest, heard of it? Okay, now why is it called a rainforest? Is because 70% of the time it rains over there. Like half a year, five to six months, it rains over there. All right. Dude, if what happens if it rains so much? If it starts raining for six months in Mumbai, what will happen? Flood. Flood, yes. So the same thing happens cold day, Muni, flood. Okay, the same thing. The same thing happens in Amazon, right? 
the forest gets flooded all right and that flooded forest is called as igapo what is it called igapo igapo all right i g a p o now i will share my screen with you and here is the picture of how the forest looks like when it gets flooded can you see yes okay i'll zoom in a little all right so this above is the amazon rainforest all right you can see blue and yellow macaw and then there are fishermen over here and you see this part these yes. are the trees that's the land of amazon forest Right. Mom, is that a piranha inside it? Yeah, that's that... not piranha. That's other type of fish that we learn. So literally, half of the forest gets flooded and it is submerged for five to six months of the year. All right, like you can see, half the year Amazon rainforest is underwater. Yes, and what happens that time is the fishes, all the other different species of fishes. from the amazon river they come and enter the forest yes the fishes roam around the forest during this time of uh, flood and what they do is that is the time when the trees are fruiting okay that is the time when the trees are fruiting and uh, the fruits the seeds from the fruit they fall into the water now these fishes now these fishes what do they do is they crack open the seed okay they crack open what is the, the fish name okay the name of the fish is a uh, tambaki yes that's right it's a very difficult name to pronounce anyway all right so this is what the fish looks like this is fish tambaki and this fish the species of fish roams the amazon uh, rainforest during the flood and it has a very hard jaw all right so what happens is when the uh, seeds from the rubber tree fall into the water tambaki fish grabs hold of the seed and it breaks it all right and it eats it's it is one of its uh, food the seed of rubber tree all right so that's how the uh, fishes survive in the water for 6 months in the amazon rainforest now what what do you think this eating of seed fishes coming in the forest wh what it helps with any idea what does it help with this is just come eat pollination insect. pollination very good farhana it helps with the disperse uh, dispersal of seeds all right so if uh, the fish eats the seed over here the half crack or the half piece of the seed will go and land on the ground okay and once when the flood goes on the because the seed has mud it it has it has received mud it will get enough sunlight and then again a tree rubber tree grows out of it okay so these fishes we have heard of wind dispersing the seeds we've heard of animals dispersing the seeds have you ever thought of fishes dispersing the seeds anybody yes uh, safia knew about it that's now. okay that's now okay now she got to know yeah that's the whole purpose right okay so yes so this is what it is this is how it is interconnected you see amazon rainforest is a type of forest it is a terrestrial ecosystem and amazon river is a freshwater ecosystem but because of this natural process of flooding because of this igapo forest two of the ecosystems come together they are interdependent on each other and they are interconnected okay that's one way of looking at it the interconnection between terrestrial ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem <coughs> now the second part is something called as riparian forest okay Ripper, riparian forest all right i'll i'll show you the picture you will understand all right this is called a riparian forest what do you see in this picture that the water is very dirty okay there is a stream and the water is extremely dirty it's going in and there are trees there are trees um yes. where there is the there lake are there, are there 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 are trees i said seeds what is wrong with mm -hmm. it okay there are trees on both sides of the creek yeah but stream. then 
in the middle there is only grass yeah in the middle there is only grass all right why now let me why i'll tell you why <laughs> let me explain because it's considered very dirty because what is dirty humans go and do it very dirty water they use it they bath in it that's why yes sapya and that is correct to an extent it is right so forests that have a stream of water or have any water body alongside it is called a riparian forest all right for example we have the savannas grasslands all right now what humans how do we use how do we make use or how are these forests beneficial for us you see forest riparian forest is a terrestrial ecosystem but a stream or a creek is a fresh water right now these these trees on either side of the streams help us by absorbing the soil over there is very spongy all right so it helps now whatever uh, agricultural activities we do on these lands so farhana asked why is there only grass over here this is actually a farmland all right and these trees alongside the farmland and we have the creek so the soil over here is very spongy ma'am if okay. it is a farmland then why it is called as forest then this is a very narrow strip of the forest the forests are usually very dense okay this picture has a very narrow strip that is what we are doing in order to do agriculture and farming we are cutting down the ripper in forest which provides its soil as a sponge for us to observe all the harmful pesticides all right and to keep the soil fertile that is how it helps that's the cycle it follows now if we keep on cutting these ripper in forest and we also have a water body alongside if it rains heavily what will happen if these trees are not there man the animals won't live the okay won't. there won't be animals and because there will be a flood also yes amina that's right there's going to be flood all right if there is excessive rainfall and if these streams or creeks overflow there are chances and we would die if trees are not there Sorry? because trees give us oxygen and without oxygen we'll die no oh, that's right that's right sophia all right so these there are chances that these streams and these creeks will overflow and they might come on the farmland and destroy the crops yes so yes. ultimately what happens we will not get food you see how they are not only interdependent on each other but also the uh, human beings are a big part of the ecosystem all right how many of you all like seafood what seafood no how many of you all like seafood come on jinga machi yes all right so we get uh, do you all agree when i say that we also get fishes from fresh water yes, yes. we get a lot of fishes bolte khare pani ki machhi meethe pani ki machhi heard of it yes so yes that meetha pani is nothing but your fresh water okay and there are fishes that we get from the rivers and fresh water ecosystem sources as well all right so how how do these help when i say seafood you got to remember amazon igapo forest okay the forest that is flooded for the maximum number of time throughout the year and the fishes help in the dispersal of seeds all right then we come to the riparian forest that helps us with agriculture yes it protects our farmlands in a way that the overflowing of the creeks and streams do not harm the farmland secondly its soil acts as a sponge which absorbs all the harmful chemicals and pesticides and it keeps the uh, fertility of the soil intact okay is it clear yes so sdg goal number 15.1 target 15.1 we have to conserve and we have to restore the terrestrial and the fresh water ecosystem yes yes or no you know they say if you decide to protect a forest you are protecting a river or if you decide to protect a river 
you are in a way protecting the forest so when we come up with ways of protecting and conserving either one of the two we are actually trying to conserve and protect the other also so this integrated way of protecting we have to come up with models and projects in which we can protect not only the fresh water but also the forest now those of you who live in navi mumbai there are number of lakes over there all right lakes lakes that is one of the sources of fresh water all right right up my house also there is a lake yeah what's the name ah ma'am how should i say that oh you don't like know you, you 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 live in nerul yes yeah it's it's the shirwani lake all right so that lake is shirwani lake now navi mumbai has polluted creeks okay they are not very good for drinking water but thankfully we get our drinking in navi mumbai you get your drinking water from lakes so lakes are a little in a good state all right but that doesn't mean that they cannot be destroyed eventually with the actions that are happening uh, can you think of ways in which we can protect these fresh water ecosystem do not cut trees do not bath in rivers then who who, uh, uh, who, who baths in river now <laughs> ma'am in ganga people bath okay okay that you talk about okay you're talking about the ganges yes the ganga river so how does the water then don't pollute the rivers and lakes yes sir clan how how can you not pollute the rivers and lakes by not bathing in How are but, how are rivers and lakes getting polluted? First, tell me that. Ma'am, we throw garbage. Yes. And we put untreated water from okay. the industries. Okay, I'll 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 catch that point. Yes, Mr. Pratap. That's it. That was the point. I was studying that only. Yeah. Okay, same point. All right. Now this the untreated. Don't throw plastic. Yes, for Mera. Accept it. now this untreated water being uh being uh, yes cut trees and then they throw it inside the lake uh, the water fresh water just like that whatever we don't need they throw it inside the water yes so the they think it's a garbage it. dump and they don't think that they are drinking that dump water all right so we are getting a fresh water from the lakes and that should be a priority to protect our lakes all right now uh, what these industries do is they take and parana is busy doodling that is not a problem so they take the they take uh, this untreated water and they leave it in the lakes and the streams okay in the sources of fresh water what happens it gets polluted and the water is no longer drinkable but the city that you live in doesn't do that okay they actually treat the waste water from the industries and they reuse it now can you tell me how we can reuse this treated water from the industry you can uh, first clean it and then you can use it for some like uh, for like making things or for like uh, sometimes for drinking also no you can definitely not use it for drinking because it has already seen chemicals all right though it is treated it is usable but not for drinking purposes so yes we can use that water for making things uh, can i say amina can i add on to your point and say that um, by making we can uh, use it in construction sites yes and also sometimes for factories again the factories can reuse the water okay for washing of the raw materials yes All right. Washing the dishes. <laughs> All right, washing the dishes too. All right. Uh, how about how about uh, watering the plants? Very nice. Yes, your society. My mother loves plants only. Oh, too bad. So, Fia, I'm talking about the roads. Okay, so the islands between the roads. You see, there are a lot of plantations over there. Yes, yes the trees in the I'm middle of the road. For one paper hundred of trees, then how will they plant more trees? Can you repeat the question, Sophia? And they only cut paper. They use na 
Nay, that hundred of trees to only make that paper smart. Oh my God, that's the reason I tell Safiya, uh, tell that you should not use paper. Avoid using paper. Okay. Then that's why I encourage I encourage my students to type in the assignments and not write it. Huh. That that's better. That's okay. why you should use pencil, not pen. Oh. Okay, so you can erase it and but reuse ma'am, the paper. When you type yes. also, so you give like you use a lot of uh, internet and then the radiation is gone and then they kill birds. Oh, oh my God, radiation kill birds. Okay, because uh, it is internet that we are using, let us end this Zoom meeting. <laughs> let us not use internet, right? Okay, the boys will come behind us. Right? That's that's the main source of the gaming. <laughs> They're like, I'm in a chup re, mat baat kar. <laughs> but no. That is fine. Yes, and that is the correct point. Sakhlen, don't worry. I'm not in it. Okay, I'll take a separate session for you. Okay, so uh, the basic point is we can reuse the water. By uh, Amina said that we can make things out of it, so we can use it in construction sites. We can uh, use it for uh, watering the plants. Okay, we have uh, public gardens, public parks. We have uh, Plant plantations alongside the government buildings. So yes, Navi Mumbai does use it in NMMC uh, garden by watering these treated uh, uh, treated water, watering the plants, and also <laughs> and also they have uh, the industries reusing the water. Okay, so that is how they have been making uh, changes, and that's one of the integrated way. All right. Now enough with the boring. Uh, bottom. I have a quiz on Google Classroom, so I want all of you all to open your SDG Mandela Google Classroom. No. Right now, ma'am. Right now. Hi. Hi. Right now, ma'am. Yeah. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. What must we open? Uh, Google Classroom. Ahmed. SDG Mandela Google Classroom. So there is a quiz. Yes. I'm gonna assign you all a quiz right now. It's unit two, and it's on ecosystem. So. And SDG Mandela, right? Yes, SDG Mandela. And I have assigned. If you can see. For this. Doesn't work. What doesn't work? It's not working. Yeah. I'll I'll share yeah. with you. See, Alfia's only posted new assignment unit two. If you can see this, it's a twenty mark quiz. Twenty have Monday night. Ha, Abu ke. Abu. Oh. How many of you all have access to it? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, Sakla and Farhana. I got your thumbs up. Humaira, I got your thumbs up. Ma'am, do we start with the quiz? Yes, please. Any Google question? Is the quiz open? Yes, it is open. Okay. Is there any question you do not understand? You can ask. Ma'am, what do you mean by hetero? Heterogeneous means uh, of many kinds. True. Okay. Uh, Muni. Just a minute, Muni. I'm going to take you. Okay. 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 Okay.
Any queries, any doubts, please, you may go ahead and ask. What do you mean by coverage, ma'am? Okay, sorry? What do you mean by coverage? Coverage, um, the area that is covered. All right, Farhana has a doubt in the last question. Let me see. Can integrated and ethical use of ecosystem of these ecosystem can generate various job opportunities. Okay, so this question uh, basically me if is there anybody uh, who has the same doubt you may listen. All right. Now this means that if we use okay, Amin is done. Okay, so um, if we use these both of these ecosystems in an ethical way do you think this will give more opportunities for jobs like for example uh, i said riparin uh, forest is closely related to agriculture whereas uh, the igapo forest is closely related with fishes so what are the various occupations that can emerge through these ecosystems Okay, that is what it is. So you have to answer whether yes or no. Do they generate job opportunities? All right. Okay. And with this uh, you can you can continue taking the quiz or you can uh, do it later as well all right that is not a problem and with this i will just i'll quickly i'll quickly uh, sum up what we did we saw we already knew about the terrestrial and uh, freshwater ecosystem we discussed about the interconnection between the two we uh, learned about two new forests the igapo in the Amazon and the riparine forest uh, in Africa savannas. All right, and how these two type of forests show that the terrestrial and, and freshwater ecosystem are interconnected. Yes, forests sir. that have water bodies alongside are called rainforests, na? No. No. Okay, so with that, I will. Acha, this ah. repairing. <laughs> Safia, don't give away the answer, please. You just have to say yes or no. That, that's giving us the answer. All right, and I have made uh, the answer the host with this. I end my class. Okay, so I'll leave you here. See you later. Thank you.